show, better take your seats. It's been a while, but I'm back on top to the world. Are you ready for NASCAR? I'm ready. As ready as I'll ever be. Welcome to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. What's up, hot dog? Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet. Get on out the door. Take it to the streets. Say what? <laughs> I'm already spoiled. There's a trash can right outside our door. Oh, yeah? Just take my trash right out. Yeah. That is the light of Las Vegas, Nevada. And that is the light of Las Vegas Motor Speedway. There's a whole lot of what happens in Vegas sees in Vegas going on at my 11 o'clock. Oh yeah? Yep. Are you ready for the knockdown drag? I'll stand up, get loud, this is how we get down. There's finally a race car on the track, Blair. <laughs> it's about time. At a blazing 45 miles an hour. 45. Look at that beach. Utah, please. <laughs> Cruising. Yep. Flying by. How's your infield experience so far, Blair? It's going to be a tight fit when they get everyone in here. You sure have been able to see a lot more than a lot of other people. Looking out the window. She doesn't even know. She doesn't even know how lucky she is. <laughs> Just a dog looking out a window. Did you win the race, Blair? I won! <laughs> the checkered flag! Sweet! Who do you like? Cowboy? Nope. You don't like them? Martin? Roy Jr. I don't know who that is, I know. Martin Truex Jr. How do you say? Truex. Truex. Look at this guy. It's looking that's a jacket, but better. <laughs> who do I want to be? That one? This one? Yeah. Who needs a Letterman jacket when you can wear this thing?
cinnamon cranberry is good, but the goat cheese not so much. You don't like goat cheese anymore? I never did. It takes you out because it's really good. And then you get the, the goat cheese. of trucks. Don't forget to say at the beginning. <gasps> the trophy. That's cool. It's a glass box like the Pope and the Queen of England. Or I guess now the King of England. Woo! As excited I am about slow moving tractor trailers. And horns blowing. Their horns. I'm sure tomorrow's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blair. First NASCAR race experience so far. So far, so good. It was so loud. <laughs> I didn't realize how loud it was until you put these on, and then you take them back off again, and then you realize how loud. It's shocking. Yeah, it's cool though. Oh! You almost had an extra spin. Thanks. You a new car, Blair? Yeah. How bad? How fast are you going? Infinity miles per hour. I've seen more mullets today in the last hour and a half than I've seen in my entire life combined. It's coming back in south. It's what? Business in front, party in the back. He's excited to see you. Oh my god. Can you buy that bitch over there? Welcome to NASCAR, Blair. Welcome to NASCAR. I know nothing about NASCAR. Our rig is parked back there on the hill. I can't see it in the little screen, but uh, we are in the neon garage because Blair got us these awesome tickets. We've been hanging out, hanging out, watching qualifying, watching the pit road. Pretty cool experience down here. Las Vegas does it right on all things. Blair said it's much quieter down here than it is out there. I said, yeah, because yeah, the exhaust points out. Yeah. But anyway, not as loud with the cars. Yeah, we're about to go see Dave and Leo. They joined us for this weekend, so uh, show them around for a minute. Then we're gonna go back and start some lunch. Watch a race, I guess. Yeah, we'll watch a race. <laughs> oh, lounging on the pillow. Oh yeah. Hey, Tricky. <laughs> What's up, NASCAR fans? I like things that go fast and that are loud. It's a long race to sit there and watch cars go around on the track. And I would never wish there to be an accident, but there was no action yesterday. <laughs> Everyone was minding their manners. I mean, a couple people hit the side of the wall, but which was good. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. The, the view's not bad, though. It's a great view. Right, it's awesome. Harper likes it, too. They strategically put the sun behind us, too, so that was nice of them. Yeah. So I didn't have to look into the sun all day. <laughs> It was good. Yeah, it's fun to watch. The competition aspect is cool. Yeah. Today is Sunday, October 16th, and we're here for the South Point 500, I think it is, or 400. 400. South Point 400 uh, at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We've been here since Wednesday. 
uh, up here on Motorhome Hill. So it's a fantastic view. You get a garage. So it's called the Neon Garage here in Las Vegas. They, a number of years back, they moved Pit Road up, up closer to the grandstand and they built the garage space. So the fan experience here is unlike many other tracks because you can go down and look into the garage area. You can see the cars, uh, wave to the drivers as they come in and out. So we were down there for qualifying yesterday and walked along the back of Pit Road. Uh, so the fan experience here is pretty epic compared to other places. But um, if you got an RV and you happen to be in Vegas during one of the March or October races, it's a pretty cool place to stop and check it out. Even if you're not a NASCAR fan. Uh, you can rent headsets and listen to the drivers talk. You can watch it on TV sitting in your rig and have the sound outside. The crowd is fantastic. Uh, the, the community here is really fantastic too. So we've enjoyed our time here and uh, thanks NASCAR for hosting us. We did not get to drive around the track like Mark and Trish did in the bird, but we still had an awesome time. All the people we've met up here up, up on Motorhome Hill. Um, feel like we've made some new lifelong friends. And Dave and Leo are very dear friends. Dave and Leo, uh, we, you've seen us camping with them a couple other times. They, they came here and hung out with us. They've been couch surfing on our couch up here. It's been fun. It's, it's their first NASCAR experience as well. And um, I think we have some new NASCAR fans. <laughs> One of our biggest um, bright spots on this trip was to uh, meet Pat and Tracy in person. Uh, friends from Tennessee, we met through YouTube and uh, had FaceTime conversations back and forth. but. They happened to be in town at the same time. We had an awesome dinner at the Wynn, the steakhouse there, and then they came over and visited here a couple of days ago, and we had fellowship and kinship and look forward to seeing them in a campsite again. So that's really cool. You got the command center going here. Two yep. computers and two iPads. <laughs> Where's the phone? Oh, there's the phone. There's the phone. Oh no. There it is. <laughs> and a TV. Blair, uh. what's your hot take on the race today? Uh, I don't have any hot takes. No hot takes? No. Who are you predicting to win this thing? I like number 19 because I can easily spot his car. How's that? It's neon, green, and blue. Oh, who is it? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Piper is very enthusiastic, as you can tell. We're still getting back behind the rig here. Wait, but 19 might not even be here today. Oh, no? Because he was here yesterday. Oh, that's a different guy, a different car. So I don't know who I'm cheering for. All right, you're going to decide once the race starts? Yep. Whoever's car you can spot the easiest? Yep. All right. <laughs> Dave and Leo, what's up? Hello. Hello. We are leaving Las Vegas Motor Speedway and the race. Uh, congratulations to Joey Logano and his win and moving on to the championship race, maybe. We're currently on I-15 northbound and uh, it's a pretty slow go. It's pretty slow and there's a long line of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can see like three miles and it's just this fast at a blazing three miles an hour. 
NASCAR has changed a bit since I've last been to a race. I, the last race I went to was Darlington. No. The last race I went to was Richmond. That's probably 2010 or 11. So we have experienced NASCAR. We've experienced it. And we may experience it again in Check the box. totally different track. But it was cool to be able to park there. If you're an RVer and you get a chance to back up against the back wall and see it from your living room, that's that's the best way to do it. It's a way to get way to go. We made the social media. Oh yeah, that's cool. They were riding around this morning taking video of fans. Piper and I made the cut. Sure did. Brad made the cutting room floor. That's right. It's only because <laughs> I had Crocs on. No, they said you looked fire. <laughs> they said. The editors did not believe it. Piper, your sunset is pretty. It's a good sunset. Does it make you happy? <laughs> Just smiling, huh?